what makes a great leader today. And I think many of you still have this notion of this all-knowing superhero, which stands and commands and protects his troops. But um, ladies and gentlemen, you know this is an image of the past. So let me take the following minutes and sharing with you six requirements which are important to stay as a great leader for tomorrow's world. Anticipate next change in your business model. Having a more diverse network is part of a solution because you have people who are thinking differently than you are doing. You shall not extrapolate. So what great leaders do, they do not extrapolate. They anticipate. Second point, be courageous to abandon the past. Great leaders dare to take a different approach and they have the emotional stamina to withstand people telling them that what they think and what they're planning is crazy or maybe even stupid. Third point, build an attitude of trust and cooperation. No one heals themselves by wounding others. Great leaders understand this. Fourth point, accept responsibility for the society. Leaders act responsible and they act ethically. They contribute to the welfare of their communities and the so society at large, and they, extend, they, uh, they understand that it's not enough to be exempted from blame or liability. Not doing anything wrong is not enough. Understand how each individual ticks. What the great leaders are really good is, is to find out what are people motivated in and what happens if they're not motivated. Now I come to my sixth and last point. Follow the three A's. Anticipate, adapt, act, get things done. That's what leaders do. They established a fast decision-making culture. Let me summarize uh, by saying there are three basic elements as I see them, which are important and which you have to work on as a, as a leader. Competence, character, empathy. Education leads to enlightenment. Enlightenment opens the way to empathy. Empathy foreshadows reforms.